Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Yes. Happy Wednesday. Yes. I'm telling you, it's been that kind of day. Watch and yes. see. But we are on. Listen and all the stakes know where we I know we're a few minutes behind. But we're here. But we're here. <laughs> Let everybody know we're on. But we are here. And spread the news. Yes. Yeah. So you are trying to reach me, my phone is down. Yes. You yes. can't get me. <laughs> spread the word. Spread the word for me. Thank you. We're so very glad to be with you tonight. It's uh, becoming worse yesterday. We missed you on Sunday. Oh my God, did we have an awesome weekend? Oh my God. And Sunday, we didn't get nothing to work, so we just had an intimate, quiet, beautiful, anointed service on Sunday. But we're back. So let everybody know that we're back and we're on. And um, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to have an awesome service tonight. Amen. Give everybody a minute to get on. New favor. George, miss you, buddy. Hey, George. What's going on, Jackson man? Jackson family. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory out. Right, gonna give everybody a few minutes to get on. Yeah. Please yeah. send out a shout out. Let everybody know that we're on. Glory. Give everybody an opportunity to get on. Yes. Hey, Janet, Janet. Hi. Let the rest of the family know in the group text that we are on. I know they've been looking for us. Everybody, go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. Yes, yes, yes. Take a moment and share. It's your favor. Hi, Lisa. Miss you. Kimberly, miss you all. Tell somebody favor. I think Shirley Jackson is on. Good to see you. Hi, Sabrina. How are you? Amen. Jackson family, go ahead and invite 10 more people. Looking for Denise. Where's Denise? Deacon Kev. It's your favor. Tell somebody it's your favor. We're still inviting. Everybody's inviting 10 to 15 people. We're still inviting. Okay, I've invited my 15. Give you an opportunity to go ahead and invite your 15. Yes. Yes. All right, let's get started. Hallelujah. Pastor, you want to open us in prayer? Glory, hallelujah. Hmm. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We are gathered here this evening, my Heavenly Father, in expectation, oh Lord. We thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning. In our right mind, my Heavenly Father, in our right spirit, we only may endure for a night, but our joy cometh in the morning. Mm. And we thank you for the joy. May we keep and maintain that joy. Let no, nothing, my Heavenly Father, get in the way, my Heavenly Father, of our joy. We rebuke and bind the principalities of the air, my Heavenly Father, that try to steal, kill, destroy. Mm. Every and anything that we are, my Heavenly Father. We mm. hate him and he, he, he hates us and we mm. hate him, oh my, my Heavenly Father. 
with a perfect hate, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. Glory, hallelujah. Things ain't always what they seem to be. Who? Glory, hallelujah. And so are people. People ain't always what they seem to be. We thank you, Father God, for showing what the people look like right now in the name of Jesus. They can't hide. They can run, but they can't hide in the name of Jesus because we see them. Uh, oh, glory. Hallelujah. We got the x-ray vision. Oh, the night goggles on right now in the name of Jesus. And we see who we need to see, Father God, to reveal who they are in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God. Glory. Hallelujah. For giving us a revelation, my heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for us being with you, Father God, right now at such a time as this. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father mm. God, for opening up the airways. For them who have an ear, let them hear what the word is saying. We thank you, Father God, for the renewing of our mind and, and casting down that stronghold and imagination of the enemy. And we thank you, Lord God, for the peace and serenity that surpasses all understanding, Father God, in the name of Jesus. May you bless the flowing word, my Heavenly Father, that comes out of the, the bosom, my Heavenly Father, of the, the woman of God this evening. And we thank you, Father God, for the air, my Lord God. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. We thank you for blessing the air, my Heavenly Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. As the blessings come up, my Heavenly Father, and the praises go up and the blessings come down. We thank you, Father God, for the pondering, my Heavenly Father, and the slowing down of everything right now in the name of Jesus. Mm. May we, my Heavenly Father, consult you, my Lord God, before we make a move, before we take a step, my Heavenly Father, before we make any decisions, Father God, in the name of Jesus. The enemy, my Heavenly Father, wants us to be anxious, and the Bible says, be anxious for nothing. May we slow it down and ponder and think and wonder, glory, hallelujah, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and who we're doing it with. And we thank you, my Heavenly Father, for the wisdom. Glory, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus this evening. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. I have prayed. Amen, amen. Tonight, I had my head down. I was trying to work on something. Uh, we were supposed to have, um, and they, he just texted me. Uh, we were supposed to have, hold on for a second. And God does all things well. And just people need time. But uh, Adwan Abaya, candidate for presidency of Nigeria. Uh, he is in Washington, D.C. Uh, we're going to do a, a Facebook uh, spread. And tomorrow night, he will be on tomorrow night at uh, 7.45. Uh, and we want to hear from him. I really want to hear from him because so many Christians are being killed in Nigeria. And uh, I'm going to tell you something. The kingdom of darkness is not divided. They are very well planned, very well organized, and very well structured. Mm -hmm. And they got the structure from the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. The church is the most divided and unorganized uh, but Jesus said, and the gates of hell shall what? Not prevail. That means that there's a true church res coming through. I sent something to Pastor. I want to start the night Bible study off with this. I want him to play it, and I want you to sit back and look at it. Thank you. Somebody said we look great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we celebrate um, five years. Uh, it'll be five years tomorrow, so we're going to post some of the celebration pictures and a little bit of the video on tomorrow and uh, just share a little bit of a joy with you that we experienced with uh, so many people this weekend mm -hmm. and it was just amazing. Mm -hmm. The devil thought he was going to stop it, but no way. Mm -hmm. God had his hand all in it mm -hmm. and when God's got it, nothing can block it. That's right. Amen. And uh, it was just beautiful down to the rain. <laughs> we prayed the rain away. And uh, uh, the rain, uh, did, it was raining everywhere, but uh, over Charles County. Uh -huh. And so we give God praise and we give him <laughs> glory. And we thank you. We thank you. We thank him for all that he does and how he does it. He's a great God. He's, yes, a, great, he is. Oh, he's a great God. And uh, we just love him dearly. We just love him dearly. Uh, uh -huh. So bless the Lord. Thank everybody for tuning in. We're still missing mm -hmm. lots of people. Yes, uh, we're still amen. missing a couple of people, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, looking for Pam, we're looking for Courtney, looking for Rick, 
go ahead and text them and send a shout out. Say, hurry up and get on. Hurry up and get on. <laughs> Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. We are living in perilous times. Mm -hmm. And though we have prepared ourselves to go one way tonight, mm -hmm. back in the back of my mind, I can hear the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> preparing me to share with you what we have to do next, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what has to happen next. Right. Uh, so I'm getting ready to show you. Mm -hmm. And um, then we're going to go right into our Bible study. Right. Amen. 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 You see your husband. Are you okay? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Right in the moment. We're about to do it. Give us one minute and we'll be on in a second. Hey Kev, Deacon Kev. Yes. I want to give a shout out to Denise. Jennifer mm -hmm. and all those that have labored to Jeanette. Yes, thank, thank you, thank you, so, you much. so much, Deacon Kev. For making our experience. Oh my God, did we have a experience. wonderful time? Thank you for serving, uh -huh. Prophet is B. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited about stretch, Jennifer. If you're on, go ahead and put the stretch information on. You can't write, call your rooms in right now. Probably be by tomorrow, but you want to book your room right now because we we only have about twenty. Uh, but we got three conference rooms. Yes. One for the men, one for the women, and one for the youth. I am so excited mm -hmm. about stretch. Once you take a look at this, Pastor's going to go ahead and play it, and then we're going to discuss it. Do you see your husband? Because the Lord said, the picture you're taking right now, that's your husband. That's your husband. I could not say take one more picture and lay that camera down. All right, now you got the music, you got the mic, you got all of that foolishness, you got all of this foolishness going on, uh, except that what that man is married. His wife is sitting in the audience. And instead of stopping and, and apologizing, he continues on with the charade. The young lady is jumping and dancing and has not a clue. And this happens in the church over and over and over and over and over. We become so embodied in a religious spirit that we make no common sense. And then we start playing with lying spirits. The man is still clearly saying it, standing there saying, I'm married. Could you imagine being in the church with your husband and some prophet comes over and says to your husband that that's his wife? Foolishness, foolishness <laughs> indeed. And I'm going to post more kinds of stuff like this because the church needs to wake up. We need to stop being dazzled, bedazzled with foolishness and nonsense. He doesn't see somebody prophesy. He wants to get them shouting and jumping. Women say, oh, I'm going to get my husband. They're going to bring their offering. I'm going to tell you right now, don't get it. 
Keep your money in your pocketbook unless the Holy Spirit tell you oh, and not Lord. some spirit of manipulation or con, not some spirit of hype, okay? We have to stop being <clears throat> emotionally led. Emo mm -hmm. Now, my question is, where was the pastor? Where was the pastor? Where were the people in that church that knew that that man was married that didn't come up to say, sir, you're off, you're wrong, okay? He's married. His wife is sick. Nobody would correct him. And then when the man said, I'm married, do you know what that is to go home to your wife and you right. participated in that? Jesus. The man Jesus. says, I'm married. But because we feel like slaves or we feel like little children in the church, we are free, we, we're molested in the open. We're literally molested in the open. And so believers... I want to tell you, be careful the church your, your family go to, your children go to, your Pass grandchildren. It. It. Be careful it. It. Uh, 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 what, where, where you, where you <clears throat> sit. I, I know a lot of them. I would say 90% of the churches are full of foolishness. Full of foolishness. Full of foolishness. 90% of them are full of foolishness and they're operated by men and women of God, women who are not called of God. They're went ones and not sent ones. And this is what happens when you open yourself up to lying, deceiving spirits. Had he had a humble heart, when the man said, mm -hmm. I'm married, mm -hmm. he just said, hold up, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. God ain't off. I'm off. Mm -hmm. Okay? Forgive me, man of God. Where's your, where's your queen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then he would have healed that. Mm -hmm. Okay? He would have healed that. Mm -hmm. He could have, he would have healed that. Mm -hmm. Then after he ministered to the husband and wife, he would turn to the single young lady mm -hmm. and say, now let me pray for you for the man of God that is yours. Mm -hmm. But his arrogance and his pride and his mm -hmm. foolishness would not allow him to do it. Right. Anybody have any questions on that? Pastor, you want to share something on that? Uh, you know, prophet lying is, 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 is what it is. And, you know, um, you know, talked about it, just someone passive, being passive and, you know, you stand up for what you believe in, and you stand up for uh, the word. The truth is the light, and let no one let no one take that away from you. Let no one lead you in in a different path that you're going. If you know the truth, you stand up for the truth, no matter what. No matter what, you you have the truth in your mouth, and just keep it right there, and you stand up no matter. Who is telling what they're saying? Because if it's wrong, it's wrong. And at the end of the day, people got to humble themselves. But we have a we have an ego. We we have every arrogant, and we got a lot of stuff going on. And at the end of the day, we have to make sure that <clears throat> that we stand up for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Who's going to stand up for the Lord? Absolutely. You know? And I'm gonna tell you, if you find yourself in that type of situation, oftentimes. Um, Parents who understand how to prepare their children for certain situations make their children emboldened and confident where uh, children who are not prepared for situations or maybe too young, they don't know how to handle it. My mother taught me at a young age what to do if somebody tried to molest me. As a response to that, uh, I was able to protect myself. I teach my grandchildren. I teach the children in my church. Uh, that nobody has the right to touch you and you're not by yourself. Whether it's your daddy, your grandpa, your grandma, whoever it is, auntie, you can tell it. And oftentimes, because in the church, uh, we feel like we don't want to embarrass anybody. But see, he embarrassed himself because he was playing. Mm -hmm. But now listen, many of us carry that molested spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay? We carry, we what made some, that grown man uh not stop to stop it and say wait a minute i got a wife what mm -hmm. passivity allows passive, them passive. uh to stand there stand frozen up. yeah no stop mm -hmm. and we feel like prophets can cast a curse on us can't nobody curse who god is blessed mm -hmm. don't feel like you're being cursed yes. uh uh you're gonna be cursed because you call out the prophet yes. no you're not going to be no one can curse whom god is blessed and no one who could bless whom God is cursed. So you have to be wise. 
If you're not wise, false prophets will manipulate you. Demons will manipulate you. Uh, 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 the angels of darkness will manipulate you. You have to take a stand and you have to take a bonus. They'll take over. Oh, they'll take over. They'll take over. They'll, they'll, they'll bomb bomb take over. Bomb Hallelujah. And and now here's 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 where those people in that church should have said, you know what? It's time to go. Mm -hmm. Because if the shepherd of that house, and if he was the pastor, help us, but if the, I don't think he was, if the shepherd of that house didn't take notice and didn't stop that and shut that down. So what are we dealing with? Amen. Out of orderness. Out of orderness. Why is Satan able to do what he does in the church? Because the church is out of order. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow night, uh, I was going to pull up his name. Hold on for a second. Then I want to go into scripture. It's not going to hold you along. Uh, let's find 1 Corinthians 11 and 27. Uh, Acts chapter 13, verse 4. And um, Joel 12 and 8. Joel 12 and 8. Uh, let me pull up. Uh, 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 the president running for Nigeria, uh, running for the office of president in Nigeria will be with us on tomorrow night at eight o'clock, 30 minutes. Just going to pray for him and hear his heart about Nigeria. Uh, my heart goes out to Nigeria. I prayed for Nigeria many, many nights all night long uh, at the horrific scenes I'm going to pull some of those scenes uh, from uh, them burning people alive, Christians alive. And uh, my prayer is people say, well, it's almost impossible here to win. But I say it was impossible for David to kill Goliath, but he did it. That's right. Hallelujah. And uh, he don't have to have the back and party. That's right. Or he has to have his God on his that's side. That's right. That's right. And that's what that's I right. want to minister to him uh, on <clears throat> tomorrow night. So tomorrow night, for about 30 minutes from 8 to 8.30. The man of God will be on. I hear that he is a Christian. I don't know him. I'm just meeting him. We're just meeting him. But anybody other than what they got now, anybody other than what they got now, we are willing to uh, pray for And he don't, uh, he don't, you know, he has his own money. Yeah, he's not even taking a salary. If he's he he's sound. like Trump. Trump didn't take a salary. Right. Okay, everybody, let's go to the scripture. Mm -hmm. Lydia? Mm -hmm. Okay, Pastor, you there? Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 11 and 27. First Corinthians 11 and 27. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Natalie. How are you? Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming on. We miss y'all. Now, look, I'm looking for y'all to be in stretch. Ooh, stretch 2022. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to miss it. October the what? Put the dates down, Jennifer, and the hotel. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be amazing. We got an excellent price for the hotel. Everything's right there. The stores, the shopping, everything's right there. You don't want to miss it. Um, get your girls. Get your girls you hang out with, and come on down and said let's 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 hang out with Bishop and the Stretch family, and let's have a good time. Bring your husbands, your sons, your brothers. We have a stretch for the women, stretch for the men, hey, and stretch for the youth. It's going to be a stretchable time. Amen. Bless the Lord. Okay. All Second right. Corinthians. Huh? Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, yes. 11 and 27. Okay, let's go. Jennifer, if you're there, put it down. Second Corinthians 11 and 21. Seven. Let's go there. Uh, <clears throat> mm, okay, I hear you guys. 23. Let's go to 23. Got to go to 22. They are Hebrews, so am I. They are Israelite, so am I. They are descendants of Abraham, so am I. Now, I want to talk about that for a second because a lot of people think that we're African American Americans, but I really believe, according to the studies, that we're African we're African Israelites. Mm -hmm. uh, when Moses' wife died, mm -hmm. uh, Moses went and got a woman from another tribe, mm -hmm. 
and his brother and sister had a fit because she was a dark skinned sister. Mm -hmm. Yes, she was. And they, they were so bad uh, that God called Miriam and uh, Aaron outside the tent. And uh, God is awesome. And uh, put mm -hmm. leprosy on them. Mm -hmm. And it was Moses that had to pray for them to pray the leprosy off. Mm -hmm. uh, can there be black Israelites? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, there can. Uh, Israelite, Israels are what we call culture. It's a culture more than anything. And uh, many of them uh, traveled with Moses as he did the Ten Commandments and established uh, 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 the nation, the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go on. So Paul says, am I apostle? Yes. Am I prophet? Yes. Five times I have received from the hand of the Jews 40 lashes, all but one. So he got 39 lashes. Three times I have been beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Mm -hmm. Three times I have been aboard a ship, wrecked at sea. A whole night and a day I have spent adrift on the deep. Many times on journey exposed to pearls and rivers, pearls from bandits, pearls from my own nation, pearls mm -hmm. from Gentiles, pearls, mm -hmm. hard mm -hmm. times, beatings, mm -hmm. pearls in the city, pearls in the desert mm -hmm. place, pearls in the sea, pearls from those poisoning, posing as believers. Those mm -hmm. what? Posing as believers, mm -hmm. but destitute of Christian knowledge and piety. In toll and hardship, watching often through the sleepless night, in hunger and thirst, frequently driven to fasting by want, mm. in cold and exposure and lack of clothing. And besides those things that are without, there is the daily inescapable pressures, pressures mm -hmm. the daily inescapable pressures. Paul is talking about the cost of an apostle. He's talking about what he has had to go through. He may have stone stepping, but when he came to Christ, he learned that it was no picnic. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. He was uh, hit on every side. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I must boast. Now he says, and now that I told you all of this, all that that happened to me, because we as Christians, we love to have a pity party. Oh, you got mm -hmm. brass bruises. Let me show you my bruises. Let me tell you what happened to me. We love pity parties, but look what Paul says. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my infirmity, mm -hmm. of the things by which I am made weak and contemptible mm -hmm. in the eyes of my opponent. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ knows he who is blessed to be praised forever that I do not lie. Hallelujah. What are you saying? I'm, if I'm going to boast about anything, it's going to be about how I came through my flesh, how I denied the powers of flesh, yes. how I got delivered, yes. what I got delivered from. Yes. The thing about deliverance, it helps you to be careful how you point fingers and judge at others mm -hmm. because you are so busy thanking God for forgiving you. You don't got time to look at nobody else's stuff. You don't have time. And in the body of Christ, we are so busy. I'm not talking about active sin. I'm not talking about folks playing in sin. I'm talking about believers who have come to Christ. We don't need to beat up on each other. We don't need to be mockery of each other. Encourage one another. Lift one another. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you don't know my story and I don't know your story. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it took for you to get delivered. You don't know what it took for me to get delivered. Mm -hmm. But this one thing we do know, that God does the deliverance. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So we have to be careful and we have to take time. Hallelujah. Am, am I am I uh, 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 an advocate of sin? No, not. I do not believe in sin. I believe that sin, the body must die to the flesh. I believe you must fast and pray. You must seek God. You must, you can, you, you can struggle with something, but you should have power over it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Remember Paul said, I prayed three times and the Lord said, my grace is sufficient. There's some things. You may be a man. You may struggle with lift, looking at women, but it shouldn't be something that you bodaciously do. You might have to pray a little bit. You might have to turn your face. You might, but you need to challenge it. 
Hallelujah. Whatever struggles you have, whatever you deal with that the enemy tries to put in front of you, you must have power over it. Yes. You must have power to run to the rock. You must have power to deal with it in your hiding place. Mm -hmm. You should not be overcome by it. You should not be pressured and the pleasure of it has you over. Yes. You should have removed the desire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord. Desire from it. Sure. Hallelujah. We as believers, we must remove the desire from the world, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, and the lust of the eyes. I've got three areas that I need to work on, that I need to cover under the blood. And I need to keep covering under the blood. I need to watch for it. I need to pay attention for it. Hallelujah. The enemy doesn't come with anything new. He comes with the same thing. He just keeps coming with it over and over. Yeah. There's a scripture that says he comes to wear, wear us out. out. But what you have to do is wear him out with the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Open up your yes. mouth. When the thought comes to your mind, when the taste comes in your mouth, when the look comes in your eyes, Open up your mouth and say, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. It is a battle in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. You cannot just shake it off. Hallelujah. You cannot just uh, move around it. You got to take a stand in your faith. And the stand in your faith Amen. is that I believe in the name of Jesus. By it, every tongue shall confess and every knee shall, shall bow. Go. I believe in the blood of Jesus and by it, the blood is covering me. The blood empowers me. The blood strengthens me. So I'm not standing there as an orphanage, as a child of orphanage. I am my daddy's child. Hallelujah. Yeah. I am adopted into the royal, royal family. family. Yeah. Demonic spirits just came poke at me and bother me and pick at me that's right hallelujah thank in you jesus. jesus hallelujah thank you jesus in the, name of jesus in the name of jesus so when we understand this hallelujah we understand the paul says i'm not bragging about all the things i've been through the, the lashes the perilous times I, i'm t i'm boasting in the god of my salvation let's go to um something to treat me in uh, the book of joel Joel, what did I say? The 12th chapter. Hallelujah. Now, I think it was Joel too. And uh, what I want to add to this is that 12 and 8. <clears throat> if you have not realized that we are in the war, the Cold War, if you're looking at the wrong news or you're not looking at news at all. I told y'all where to go to look at the news. I even posted on my Facebook page, if you go there, there was a meeting with the elites about how they are going to decrease the uh, uh, population of the earth by half. And they, their plan was by 2023. Go to my Facebook page. It's right there. Bishop Shirley Stanfield. And they planned it in by 2023 to reduce the population by half. This is not new. This is something that they've been planning for years. Now, they go away to exotic islands, fly in planes, uh, have the top of the top. Uh, these are the riches of the riches. George Soros and so forth and others uh and their agenda is that they're going to decrease the population and i'm gonna tell you they're gonna do it by covid they're gonna do it by other things related to covid they're gonna do it by um war that's why you see the war uh if you believe that only a couple of thousand people died in ukraine you really got to be off uh and if you only believe a couple of million uh, you really got to be off. It's much, much worse than that. Uh, now we're looking at the cold war. So what are you saying to me, Bishop? I'm saying to you, don't buy nothing else. If you don't absolutely need it, if it's not an absolute, and we just got through with a beautiful celebration, mm -hmm. but my mind was meditated on that on July 4th, I was going to shut the faucet. 
And I'm telling you that you are going to need to keep money outside of the bank. You're going to need gold and you're going to need silver. The only thing I would spend money on if there was an investment that I knew that I knew that was worth it. It was going to give me a good return. I wouldn't do stock markets. I would hold up on anything and I would uh, hold my money. Amen. And see uh, where this uh, uh, the prophetic team and the, and the research team uh, we were praying and talking every, every day and we knew that June was going to be pivot. That there's something that's going to happen in the month of June. June 30th is when President Biden, excuse me, and you see all this news about the LGBT, you see the abortion, you didn't hear one thing about unless she was paying attention to the right news on the right station in the name of America. 300,000 troops have been deployed between Europe, Romania, uh, and so forth. Uh, Sweden and um, Finland. Uh, Finland are now into NATO. And they had promised if this happened that he was going to go into war. Well, he's already went into first phase nuclear. So there is, we are at war, war, or cold war. And you know, if we are at it, ain't no need to pray in. Uh, Lord, don't let the war come. Pray, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Please don't come in the winter. That's what Matthew tells us. Put it up oh, on the screen, God. Donna. Matthew 24 tells us, please don't come in the winter and please don't come in on the Sabbath. But come, Lord Jesus, why? Because winter and Sabbath are post-judgment times. We want him to come before the judgment time. The Antichrist is coming on the scene. It's going to be a time that we're not going to be able to have church on, on Facebook. Uh, we're not, they're going to burn every temple, every synagogue, every building, every church. Uh, that it's coming. Oh, yes, it is. It's coming. It's coming. It's here and it's coming. Hallelujah. Now, the shakening before it comes is what God is going to do. If he doesn't shake in the earth, many sick, weak, and sleep believers will be lost. So there's going to be a shakening with crime. If crime isn't shaking you, I don't know what is. You have to be careful what school you belong to, doctor's office, hospital, uh, grocery store. You got to be, you got to pray before you go to these places. Common everyday places. You don't have to look for trouble. Trouble's going, it's, it's going to find you. Hey. Amen. So what are you going to do? You're going to have to pray. Your steps are going to have to be ordered by the Lord. You're going to have to be prayer, ready to die. Oh, Hallelujah. God. Death can't be something that you fear. You have to know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior and your Master and God as your Father. You have to take that stand and believe. And that's it. That's all. And if you don't have that kind of faith, then come on the prayer line with Jesus. us at Friday nights. At 9 p.m., we pray to 3 in the morning. And the saints was like, why y'all pray 3? We pray sometimes to 6. Depends on what the Holy Spirit will. Let me tell you what prayer does. Prayer will make you handle your surroundings. Prayer will make you handle the situation. Prayer will make you handle the circumstances. As old folks used to say, little prayer, little power. Big power, big prayer. Yeah. You can't have Whoa. big power and a little prayer. Yes. And people, you can talk a good game. But when that stuff started happening, what's in you is what's going to show. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? We are in the Cold War. Hallelujah. What am I saying? I'm saying to you, I just showed you that preacher telling uh, uh, this woman that that was her husband. And this is not the first time I've seen, I heard about this in churches. It was a woman uh, uh, in Nigeria telling the men that they must have sex with her in order to get their wives. And people are so gullible and so, so naive and so under the influence of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Especially the women. The Bible called them silly women. Why? Because they were silly women who did not submit to their husbands and they were in taste and entitled. It's just like what the women do for the sports fans mm -hmm. and for the music fans. Hallelujah. I'm not taking up for R. Kelly. But those women knew they wanted to be in the highlight and the spotlight with him. 
Hallelujah. And they were fine as long as the ride was the ride. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And the devil is a liar. We understand this. When you see B, uh, Jay Z, mm, Beyonce on the front cover of the Vogue and a red horse, that is not attractive. That's not cute. If you know your Bible, you would know that a red horse represents famine. Now, what did I tell you? George Soros and all of the wealthy of the wealthy of the world. It's not about country anymore. It's not about color anymore. It's about class. Mm -hmm. And you got to be more than just first class. You got to be above class. You got to be in the billionaire stack. Millionaires don't even stand in that. You got to be in the trippionaire, billionaire or trippionaire. Mm -hmm. Now, listen. They said that they were going to decrease the population by 2023. The earth would be half its population. Okay. Some of these earthquakes and stuff, they're causing it. They have the chemicals. They have the machinery, the study to do it. Okay. Then you talk about the, the, the COVIDs, the different COVIDs. You're talking about the, the things that are, are surrounding that. You talk about the war that we're getting back into. They, their plan is to decrease civilization by half, okay? That's their plan. What's Satan's plan? That he may be able to kill off as many people as he can because of what he wants is the soul. Hallelujah. He wants the soul to go to hell. He wants the soul destroyed. We should be as adamant about the saving of souls as they are of the killing of souls. Yes. That means ministering, evangelizing, sharing, texting, calling mm. as many people as you can to tell them about the love of Jesus yes. and to warn them what's coming, yes. to tell them, to warn them what's coming. Hallelujah. That is our assignment. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Are we concerned about the war? No. Are we concerned about the phantom? No. Are we concerned? No, we're not. Because the Lord promised us. He said, Thomas, Dalton Thomas, you believe because you can see. Mm -hmm. But blessed are those yeah. that believe that cannot yeah. see. We stand on the blessings of those who cannot see, but yet we believe. Ah, yeah. de Korabasa. We believe, yet we believe. Why do we believe? Because we believe in the word of God. We believe in the spirit of God. We believe in the power of God. So what is that? That is our stance. Lord Jesus, come. Come quickly. Please don't come in the Sabbath. The Bible tells us to pray that way. Matthew 24 and 20. Those are our instructions. Every day you wake up, every night before you go to sleep, Lord, come quickly. Please don't come on the Sabbath or on the winter. Let me be prepared for your coming. If there's anything in me that's not of you, take it away, God. I want to be raptured. Hallelujah. I want to oh. reign in the millennium. Yes, I do. I want to reign in the millennium. Mm -hmm. I want to be raptured. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that the awakening revival is coming soon. We are planning for 2023. If the Lord should delay his coming, hallelujah. But things are right. One thing we're waiting for prophetically to happen, and that's the bombing of Damascus. And that's what the Bible tells us. The bombing of Damascus. I was watching the news. The news is what I watch in the morning. Uh, after I pray, I watch the news. And when I finish watching the news, I pray some more. Uh, but the, they were saying how Iran is now ready for a nuclear capability. Uh, if you remember, Trump had stopped it. In the first 30 days, Biden came in office. He gave them the rights to start back with mm -hmm. their nuclear Design. They were only weeks away when that happened. Uh, now they have uh, nuclear capability. Now Israel is standing and saying, we've got to get them before they get us. It is in the Holy Quran that if they can cause a holy war, that their Messiah, which is the Antichrist, their Messiah can come on the scene. So you need Jesus. to see that everybody is in position. Yeah. Okay. The new world order. Is in position. Iran, Israel, the believers, we're the only ones that's still not sure where we at or what's going on. Last thing I want to say, if you are listening to uh, any of the new age believers, Oprah Winfrey, 
uh, 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 Beyonce and Cardi B, get them out of your spirit. Get them out of your spirit. We burn it, destroy it. You got Christians that are paying hundreds of dollars to go see Beyonce at a concert and won't give the, don't won't give in their church a fifty dollars. Our priorities are off. But I want to say, if if you have been following them, if you are followers of them on Facebook, uh, 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 cut that off. Jesus. Get destroy their music. Yeah. Burn it. A Cardi B was on a couple of months ago, screaming and crying, talking about the new songs they got her singing. She can demons are, are ripping her. Uh, that's right, because they have sold their soul. They don't. Their souls are sold to the industry, and the industry belongs to Lucifer. Yeah. Okay. And you need to understand that. And they would do anything for money. The big house, the big car, they can have it. I want a home that's not made by man. I want yeah. a home that cannot burn. I want a heavenly home, not one that's made here. And I want to reign in the millennium. So I'm saying to you, stop being their puppets, their manipulating puppets. Teach your children that, that that's not the best music to listen to. They're not the people to have. They've almost given celebrities a God status in their life. They care more about what they say then they do what the word says or common sense says. So I say to you, destroy it. If you are a believer, cut the tides from it. Oprah Winfrey, uh, uh, Steve Harvey, they're full of foolishness and nonsense, and they can care less about you and your children. It's their next dollar, their next dime, and them being where they want to be. And they will sell out to anybody for any reason. If you are a believer, trust God, oh. lean on him, trust in him, hallelujah, and get into a Bible-believing church, yeah. not a concert hall, not somewhere where they have an entertainment. Run, flee for your life. Don't even say goodbye. I don't care if the church ain't got but 15 people. If it's a Bible-believing church and they believe in being holy and they love the Lord and there's love there, it would be better to be in there with 15 people than to be in a place with 15,000 and they're all full of lies. Yes. Do you not remember the Noah? How many, how many, how many people were saved in the first world world destruction? Uh, Eight. Hallelujah. Do you not believe remember Solomon Gomiah? Uh, how many people were saved in Solomon Gomiah? Three. Hallelujah. And those two still had the wicked sexual Jesus. perversion in them hallelujah Jesus. so though they didn't die in the fire their minds were corrupted to sleep with their father why because sin will take you farther than you ever want to go it will cost you more than you're willing Jesus. to pay hallelujah Jesus. and when it get a hold of you it will not shake off easy Jesus. it's like quicksand hallelujah but i know the blood that will shake away every quicksand that will remove every hole, every stitch. Hallelujah, that the enemy wants to try. So I say to you in the name of Jesus, one last scripture, we got three minutes. Okay, Joel 2 and 12. And the Lord utters, Levin, his voice before his army. For his host is very great. And they are strong and powerful who execute God's word. That's what God wants us to be. Strong and powerful. Not indecisive. Not unsure. Shaken. Strong and powerful who execute. The word of God is to be executed. It's not some, some, some poetic, poetic theory, uh, theatrics some play the word of god is like a two-edged sword cutting cutting in and cutting coming out it should be done with power and it should be done and executed look at this god's word for the day of the lord is great and very terrible and who can endure it therefore also now says the lord 
turn and keep on coming. Keep coming to me. I want to encourage you to keep coming to the Lord. The race isn't given to the swift, nor is it given to the strong, but to him that endure. You must have an enduring power. You got to have a non-quit spirit. So I got a non-quitting spirit. Hallelujah. Over well, this weekend, we had a non-quitting spirit. It didn't look like it was going to get done. We had, it was so much work to be done. I had threw my hip out, but I had a non-quitting spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Bless me. And anybody that came, we say, if you're coming, you can have fish, but you got to work first. Mm -hmm. A non-quitting spirit. We were like Nehemiah on the wall, building the wall with one hand and fighting with the other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nehemiah, Nehemiah, can you come up? Let me talk to you. Let me tell No, nope, I'm busy and I can't come down. Hallelujah. Why? Because we got a non-quitting spirit. Put them comments up there for me. A non-quitting spirit. Yeah. What is a non-quitting spirit? I got a non-quitting spirit down in my soul. It doesn't matter what they say or do. My spirit is committed. Quitting is not an option. Hallelujah. I got a non-quitting spirit. People go, people come. You can't quit. You have to take a stand and you have to hold on. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Keep coming to me now. With all your hearts and fasting, with weeping and with mourning until every hindrance, every what? I feel this word. You got a nasty attitude? Keep coming to him. You got a perverted spirit? He's not rejecting you. He's just not going to accept you without you rejecting it. It's got to be rejected. Hallelujah. Where are you going with it? Certainly not to heaven. Where are you going with it? So every hindrance is removed. Yeah. If there is a hindrance that I am experiencing, I got to fast and pray and weep before the Lord until the hindrance is gone. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless me. Are y'all hearing me? Jeez. Every hindrance, every block, every weakness, everything. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm telling you, he's so soon to come. I don't want one spot on my garment. I got my oil, my bleach, which is the blood. And I'm forgive me for that, Lord. Forgive me for that, Lord. Forgive me for that, Lord. Take that spirit away. Take that hindrance away. Why? Because I want to be as white as snow. Oh, yeah. 99 and a half won't do. I need 100. Is 100 impossible? No. Is it difficult? Yes. Because you've got to die to the flesh. For one second, not a minute, not a day, yeah, one second. second in heaven will yeah. pay for it all. Every every tear, everything every you fast, through. everything you went through. Girl, when the when the when the trumpet sound and the last trumpet sound, and we that are in him are changed from mortal to immortality. I'm gonna be shouting in the mid air. I made it. We were right. Jesus is real. God is Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that the Bible is telling us is coming to pass. <coughs> it is proven prophecy. Hallelujah. The word of God is the highest level of prophecy you can ever have. No woman or man can prophesy over the level of the Bible. The Bible is the highest level of prophecy. And the Bible is saying, how it is a sin for a woman to wear man's clothes. And when I was a child and they would read that, I was like, who would wear women's clothes? Mm -hmm. Who would what? I don't understand that scripture. Now I understand it. It was for times as these. Hallelujah. The Bible is so plain and so crystal clear. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That you can't mix it up. You can't be confused. It is what it, what is. it is, what it is. Hallelujah. Every hindrance, draw unto him. Draw. I'm telling you, don't spend no more money. Don't buy nothing else. I, I would be surprised if we're not ruptured by the end of this year. I don't know the time. God didn't give us the time, but he sure gave us an indicator that's having me saying, oh, God, okay, God, that's having me saying, are you prepared to exit? Are you prepared? Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I wouldn't play with God. I wouldn't put one foot out there thinking I had a little bit of time, one more time. Hallelujah. It's like those people getting high off of drugs. 
Let me get one more hit. And it's got fentanyl on it. And they're dying. Mm. Hallelujah. It's got the new drug on it. And they're dying. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel the presence Lord, of God in here. Hallelujah. Some of you, Pastor and I was talking about it. You may feel real tired, real sleepy. Like you just, that that's not just you. That's feeling all, that's all over the world. Hallelujah. Shake yourself. Shake it off you. I believe it's in the 5G. I told you they're Jesus meeting. Lord. They're not hiding from it. Their agenda is not hidden. Yeah. They're speaking it out loud. They plan to get rid of half of the earth before the year is out by any way and any means. Hallelujah. But we serve a God. They ain't got to get rid of us. God, Jesus going to come in raptures. Jesus we serve Lord. a God. But you know what? I, I, the Bible tells us to pray for our enemy. And we do. But when not a but, but uh, when Jesus come to kick some butts, <laughs> I'm going to say, Lord, I pray. the wicked need to be punished. Oh, the wicked need to be punished. Yes, they're, 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 they're diabolical liars. They need to be punished. Jesus, Jesus. And we cry, get saved. But some of their hearts are so hard and it's so crooked and so hateful and so evil and so Jesus, perverted. Jesus. Lord, the the wicked. Lord out. Jesus, come quickly. come quickly. Hallelujah. Tell your sons and daughters you don't want to be down here. It's going to be hell on earth. And then they got to go to hell. But it's going to be hell on earth. So yes, he says, national team. he said, get rid of every hindrance. Get rid of every hindrance. Anything that easily besets you. Anything. Just give it to him. And then this is this is the book of Joel here, verse chapter number two. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. High glory. Shall be saved. If you just, Lord, just please save me. He'll do it. But it's got to be from your heart. It can't be because you're running from trouble yeah, yeah. or running from problems. You can't run from your problems. It's like running from one man to another man. You're going to meet another set of problems. Hallelujah. You didn't be running again. But Lord, I come to you from my heart. I come to you to be saved. I come to you to be delivered and set free. I come to you because I'm your child. You created me. Now I want to be your obedient servant, not your disobedient servant. And he he will receive you just like that. Glory, hallelujah. Just like that. You don't need a mediator. You can talk to him just like that. Lord, I, I confess with my mouth. Repent of my sins. I'm sorry. Maybe you're a backslider. Or maybe you say, but you still got a lot of things you're entangled with. Tonight, this week, it's an awesome time to come to him. Simply. It won't take on it. It's just, you know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of my sins. I'm tired of what's happening in the world. I'm tired of what's going on around me. And I need Jesus as my Lord and my Savior and my Master. He's waiting on me. He's listening. The shaking of the earth is for you. You who have been on two sides of the fence, one foot here, one foot there. It's the shaking. Every time I look at TV, there's a shootout, a killing, because it's a satanic thinking all around, all the earth. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now. Just now. Come to Jesus. <laughs> Come to Jesus. 
just now he will save you he will save you he will save you just now just now he will save you he will save you just now hallelujah bless his name as we close out with a prayer Father, we give you praise and we thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, your love and your kindness. Thank you for ministering to us, Holy Spirit, that the cost of salvation was free. But the persecution of being saved is each one of our cross. We thank you, Daddy. We pray for all of the families that were in shootouts this weekend from Ohio to Chicago to Detroit to wherever they were. We pray for those hurting, grieving families. We pray, oh God, for those in Ukraine and those, oh God, who are preparing for war in Europe. We pray, oh God, because there's fighting and there's protests everywhere. Sri Lanka, Par uh, uh, Palestine, uh, uh, Pakistan, uh, India, uh, Australia, is fighting and, and picketing everywhere. Father, we pray even now we pray for our leaders who seem to be very rebellious, very stubborn, very arrogant. We pray that they would humble themselves down. Their father, that the arrogance is mounting in China, mounting in Russia, mounting in Europe, mounting in Finland, just arrogance. But they're not thinking their boys, their grandsons are not going to, to, to war. The people that have to go to war are the middle and the poor class. I pray in Jesus' name that you would come quickly, Lord. Please don't come in the Sabbath or the winter, but please come quickly. We love you, Daddy. We praise your name. My prayer tonight goes to the churches that are sick, sleep, and weak. Those, oh God, that have a form of godliness, but they are denying the power. I pray, oh God, that this message will reach those that have an ear to hear and a heart to receive. I pray that salvation comes into their life. I pray in Jesus' name. Thank you for every person that came on. I thank you for every visitor. I thank you for every member. Let the love of Christ be bold, bold, bold in our heart and shed abroad. Cause us, oh God, to wash our garments every night and to prepare for you each and every day and to occupy until you come. We love you. Bless those and give us a sweet rest and an early rise in the morning. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Thank you for your patience tonight. We pray that something has ministered to you. Don't forget we'll be back on tomorrow night for 30 minutes to meet uh, the uh, man that is running, the prince, I should say, that is running for the president of Nigeria. Uh, I believe that we ought to get behind somebody that's going to help stop the killing of the Christians in Nigeria. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. We have had a busy, busy weekend. Thank you for all of your anniversary shout outs, your love to us. We are just uh, going to the beach tomorrow yes, <laughs> and love on each other. And, and uh, we're going to steal away for 30 minutes just to give y'all yeah. this man of God. I would believe it, I believe it'd be kingdomly wrong not to pray for him. At least he got on the platform to express what freedom looks like. But uh, that's tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Yes, no matter. God wants you to be happy. Yes, he, he does. He wants you to be free. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to still killing, destroy everything. So at the end of the day, know your concepts and your precepts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once <laughs> and hold them dear to your heart because they are the law, the, the law governed by the Amen. Good night, Natalie. Any night. friend of Lisa's yes. is a friend of Bow's yes. family, uh, Shelly's family, and uh, uh, Kimberly. Thank you, everybody. Thank the Dow's. So 
Jackson's, the Williams was on, Thank all you. of you. I miss y'all. I can't wait to Friday night prayer yeah. for all of us to be together. Pray for us Amen. and we will continue to pray for you. We love you. Yes. If the Lord ministers to your heart, you can give at dollar sign Bishop Stanfield uh, uh, or you can go to dollar sign for Cathedral. Either one of those or you can do sale at Apostle Stanfield at gmail.com. Yes. Any way you do it, whatever it's you okay, give, right. let it be from your heart and let it be cheerfully. God Amen. bless you God and bless. good night. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.